know you've seen the viral work of our next guest across social media, and I can't wait to introduce her. Danielle Koch is an illustrator and activist. During the height of the pandemic, her art provoked much needed conversations around equal rights and justice for black people in America. She has not only impacted the world through her work, but also launched her own collection at Target. I mean, she is complete gold. So Danny, thank you so much for coming by. Of course, thank you for having me. Of course, and welcome to the Code Zone. Oh yeah, it looks so good in here. Awesome. I know, it's so cute. <laughs> so yeah, so today we're gonna be uh, getting to play Jenga to get to know you better. Yes. So basically, each of us will remove one block and place it at the top of the tower without making it collapse. And if it collapses, then that round of the game is over and then another one begins. So as you can see, the tower has four different colors. Each color represents a theme. When you pull a specific colored block, you will have to answer a question from that color themes. The color themes include purple for childhood memories, red for career, green for inspiration, and blue for a challenge. Sounds pretty easy, right? Sounds good to me. <laughs> okay, so are you ready to get started? Yeah, let's do it. Here I go. <laughs> <laughs> I know, the first one's always like, kind of tough. There we go. Good one. Okay. And then when you're done, you can put at the top. Of the oh, top. oh my gosh, not me forgetting. How to <laughs> no, that's okay. Okay, so inspiration to start us off. So, what's your design process? Are storyboards involved? Most people might start out with storyboards, but I start out with writing. Because my art is very content heavy, sometimes very information heavy, and I deal with topics like justice and race, I do a lot of research ahead of time, but then I also enjoy writing my thoughts out. And so I'll write them out after researching and then I'll split it maybe into four steps or three ways or two takeaways, something tangible and digestible. And then I will draw based on that information. Let's do, let's do some career questions. We haven't gotten to career yet. Okay. Um, I don't know if this Ooh. is like risky to pick all the way at the bottom, but we'll see. <laughs> okay. So our next question. So tell us what you do as an artist. Give us a glimpse of your day to day. I like to give myself maybe like an hour or two to just do some dreaming and getting ideas down on paper because I realize the faster I go, the less time I dedicate to dreaming and coming up with creative new ideas, mm -hmm. which is so important to the process. Mm -hmm. And then I read. Reading for me is very, very important to the work. Mm -hmm. I read a lot for fun when I was younger, but now I'm reading to like take in information. So I'm like reading A Testament of Hope by Dr. King and I'm reading a collection of poems by Maya Angelou, like things that can feed into the heart behind the art. I'm gonna do another challenge. Let's okay. Do blue. Oh, here I go again. I don't know what it is. Like, I don't even like look around that long. I just like <laughs> take it out. You're killing it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so tell us a challenge that you've dealt with as an artist and how you overcame it. A challenge for me as an artist that does the kind of art that I do was making enough space to grieve and hold space mm -hmm. for the real processing that comes with these really horrible tragedies mm -hmm. while then also translating it for people to digest and understand. I think another difficulty that a lot of people can probably relate to would be feeling whether I'm worthy of the title of an artist. Mm -hmm. But at first I was like, I'm an imposter. This no. isn't art. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think a lot of artists go through that phase though. Right. But you're killing it, so. Thank you. Of course. You're so sweet. <laughs> okay. okay, I think it's your turn. Me again. Okay, I think I know where I'm going this time. Oh. Maybe but you she's see not. when you see when like some pops out when it moves? That's the one you gotta get. Mm -hmm. Oh! See, see, look at that. I didn't realize I was this good at Jenga. <laughs> I thought it was over. Girl. Or maybe I'm just like really average. I don't know. <laughs> okay, career. What is your favorite piece of art sold or created and why? Okay, I love this question. Mm -hmm. So there are some pieces that are super popular that I probably wouldn't consider my absolute favorite, but there is one. It's called the Good Work Poem. Mm -hmm. And so it started out as just me writing this encouragement to people who were in the thick of fighting for justice. And it basically says like you were created to do good work and this work is hard, you know, it's meant to change things. It's meant to destroy certain things and it's meant to soften hearts. Like that kind of work is difficult, but it's also good. That's probably one of my favorite pieces. Okay, uh, I think it's my turn. So let's see, this one looks loose. Oh yeah. Should I do? Okay. 
Last challenge question. Okay, what is one thing you want to tell us but we haven't asked you yet? One thing that I used to always say is that perfection is not a prerequisite to participation. Just show up authentically and be honest, be factual, but also be true to yourself, be true to your style, and you don't have to be perfect to get going. I don't know about this one. Oh, oh you got it. Oh. That's it. Oh, wow. I'm t I don't know. I don't know what it is. Like, I really don't know what it is. Okay. Perfect. Another career question. So how do you make your art profitable? I started producing art prints and then I converted things to stickers and bookmarks, notepads, and so I created a whole collection of products around the artwork that I had made, and that was successful. Well, I think that's all for us today. Thank you so much for coming by. I literally, I learned so much about you. It was lovely talking to you, and thank you again. Thank you for having me. This was so fun. All right, we'll see you later, guys. Bye.